Do you think a parallel universe can exist? Like there is a whole world out there just like yours. Similar places, people, restaurants, parks. Maybe cleaner roads, less pollution and fresh air. But can, can something like this exist? Maybe yes. Now I know many of you have started to imagine the upside down from Stranger Things but this world might not be as fictitious as that one. However, what if I tell you it's possible to have such a world? Now that I've captured your attention, here's something that has been making the rounds in the tech world. Metaverse, meta platforms, argumented reality, virtual reality, billions of dollars and the future of our world has been discussed at length for quite some time now. To make it simple, Analytics India magazine brings you the tech experience and I am Puran Chaudhary. Before I take you through the diverse explanations of what a metaverse is and how it will impact your and my life, here are a few clippings you need to try. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. If we need a new kind of soldier, one who doesn't think the way we think. Fear the things we fear. Now! That does sound interesting, right? Having a perfect world at the touch of a button. A few weeks back, Facebook rebranded itself out of the blue and changed its parent company name to Meta Platforms. Facebook CEO, now Meta CEO, Mark Zuckerberg in the past has been very vocal about Metaverse. So what does this buzzword mean? Or if your professor were to ask you, define the term. Well, here we go. Think of it as an internet walk to life, or at least rendered in 3D. You find yourself coming to life from tiny boxes to actual avatars. Zuckerberg described it as a virtual environment you can go inside of instead of just looking at it on a screen. A world of endless interconnected virtual communities where people can meet, work, play, shop, visit places using virtual reality headsets, augmented reality glasses, smartphone apps or other devices. Now some would say that sounds like a video game. Yes, that's right. In video games, you're virtually achieving a task by killing zombies or gangsters. This will, let's say, a milder version of it. You will be able to customize your avatar, create your doppelganger, sell and buy things and go on a trip through this alternate universe. Not just through social media, but through a whole other technology, you will be practically living in a virtual and a real world. Big brands have also started considering this metaverse to increase their sales. Nike is looking to hire designers for virtual wear and has filed for trademark applications for its brand on such things such as virtual branded sneakers and apparel. I'm assuming that means you will be able to buy sneakers for your avatar and get wear offline too. Experts believe that the path to metaverse will be through video games as these games are already developed which make it easier. Roblox held a virtual event to celebrate Gucci's 100th anniversary this year. So what else can you do in a metaverse? Feel like going to a concert while staying at home? We got your back. In fact, we have 12 million people as an example who went to a Travis Scott concert right from their sofas and beds. This fictional world is slowly becoming reality. Fortnite also used its tech to draw millions to such virtual concerts featuring artists including Ariana Grande and Lil Nas X. So it's already moved beyond games to use its virtual 3D space for not gaming application. Now you can watch your favorite sport from any angle, even the player's own vision. You can also do unimaginable things like walk the moon while walking to your kitchen. These are all the fun things, but what about a professional life? Well, that bit has already changed drastically over the COVID-19 pandemic. Your work from home could actually get permanent. Not just through small video call boxes or screen, you could practically sit with your colleagues on the same table and give a presentation. Sounds unbelievable, right? 
Well, take a look. What's going on, everyone? Hey, how are you? Good afternoon. I'm Daniel from the UK. Good meeting software for companies called Horizon Workrooms to use with its Oculus VR headsets. What it essentially does is brings your workspace right to your homes. It can also be described as teleporting yourself from one space to another. Harry Potter feels right. However, this virtual reality can come at a cost. In fact, a big cost. Taking the example about these headsets can deport you in your conference room cost more than $300. This cutting edge experience is out of reach for many. And then there are problems such as data capturing, tracking, privacy infringement and many social problems such as the mental health of the user. And what if people start preferring the virtual world more than the real world? What will happen to issues such as poverty, climate change, terrorism and everything related to your real world? But that is a debate for another day. Metaverse is the future of technology and the way big tech giants are investing in the idea it seems that virtual world is not very far from us. So the next logical question is who will own this Metaverse? Now broadly speaking any corporate entity or group of programmers can create a Metaverse that meets the criteria. Just like creating a social network, in such cases, a single entity will manage the servers for this user conduct and set rules of how the virtual world works. Today, many corporations have come to the forefront to adapt to this sort of technology. NVIDIA, Facebook, Microsoft and many video game big companies that have some idea of this technology are heavily inclined towards creating their metaverses. So well, we'll have to wait and watch how the stages are daily lives. Well, that's all from our side. Maybe all our childhood dreams to go to Hogwarts might soon come true. However, I will leave you with one question. How feasible is a metaverse in a country like India, beginning with firstly our internet connection and secondly, the cost of such technologies? Leave your theories and comments below. This is Puranj Aldi signing off for AIM.